The picture I chose to analyze is the Burning Monk. I've seen this photo on a Rage Against the Machine album cover and also multiple times in history class. I never really learned in depth of what the picture meant or what was happening. When first looking at this photo without knowing any kind of background or history to the photo, you first notice that the picture is in black and white. There is a picture in the center on, of a person on fire. He looks relatively calm for being on fire and is not calling out for help, screaming, or crying. You can see the gas canister near him that was most likely used to pour the gasoline which lit the man on fire. There is a crowd of people surrounding the man and watching. There is a car near him with the hood up. The car looks older but not super old. It was probably made around the 60s or the 50s. They are all on a street, possibly an intersection because it looks like there is a street sign in the background, but the photo quality is not good enough to read it and find out where the photo was taken. There is also a building in the background, but there is nothing on the building to identify where this photo was taken either. While looking in depth, uh, all the people are all dressed the same, and many people have shaven heads, including the man burning in the, monk, in the middle. They appear to be monks. I can't clearly see the people in the background, but their faces look sad or shocked. After looking closely at this photo, some of the questions I want to know are, who is this man? Why is he setting himself on fire? Where is this and when did this happen? After researching this photo, I found out the photo was called Burning Monk and it was taken by Malcolm Brown in 1963. In a YouTube video, Malcolm Brown's Burning Monk, how the photograph was taken, I found out that the photo was taken on June 11th, 1963 in an intersection at Saigon, Vietnam. This happened in the middle of the Vietnam Civil War. Brown was, was one of the only journalists there who had a camera. I learned that the man who set himself on fire was Buddhist monk named Thich Quang Duc. He burned himself to death in protest of President Diem's discriminatory Buddhist laws. There were already statewide protests happening and nine Buddhists had already been shot and killed while protesting. Nearly 350 monks blocked the streets while this was happening. He never yelled out in pain. Quang Duck's last words were in the note saying, I respectfully plead to President Diems to take a mind of compassion towards the people of, of the nation, implement religious quality. His story and pictures were quickly on the front pages of newspapers worldwide. This photo message, the picture's message has been seen as a symbol of rebellion and their fight against injustice. Given what I now know of what happened during this photo, I know how much this photo meant. Based on my analysis and research, I think the photo achieved its purpose, revealing to the world that there was religious inequality and persecution in South Vietnam, and exposed some of the injustices that the GM government was causing. It showed that the Buddhist monks were willing to die for their faith. This act of self-immolation caused further protests and persuaded President John F. Kennedy to withdraw support from GM's government. I believe the impact of this image is monumental and it even is significant today. Th Thich, Quang Duck setting himself on fire shows how passionate people can be for their religion and ideology and encourages people to stand up and defend their beliefs no matter what you have to do. This message encouraged resistance in South Vietnam in the 60s and I still believe it will continue to even impact and encourage our generation today.